Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Python developers encounter when working with Google Cloud's data store. Our viewer is trying to test the cloud data store locally using an emulator, but they're running into a snag. They want to know how to save data to the local emulator instead of the actual Google Cloud. Let's break down their process and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To use the Google Cloud Data Store emulator with Python, we first need to ensure that the emulator is running. Start the emulator by executing the command shown on the screen. Next, we need to set the environment variables for our local setup. This step is crucial as it tells the Google Cloud Client Library to connect to the emulator instead of the actual cloud service. Now let's modify our Python code to connect to the local emulator. We need to specify the project ID and the emulator's host and port. Here's how you can do that. Finally, you can now save your data using the local emulator. When you run your code, it should save the data to the emulator instead of the cloud. By following these steps, you can successfully test your application using the Google Cloud Data Store emulator locally. This allows you to develop and test without incurring costs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To save data in the Google Cloud Data Store emulator, start by initializing the environment. You can do this by running a specific command. This command sets up the necessary environment variables for the emulator to work properly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To save data in the Google Cloud Data Store emulator, you can check if your code is running in production or on a local development server. Use the environment variable server software to determine this. For more detailed instructions, you can visit the Google Cloud documentation on using the local server. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.